Today we're spending some quality time with a device that's going to make the iPhone 4 lose sleep. This is the HTC Inspire 4G for AT&T. This phone is going to be available on February 13th for $100 with a two-year AT&T contract. Now a phone of this magnitude at a price point so low is just unheard of. So we're going to tell you why the Steve Jobs Death Star is going to be crumbling in the year 2011. And we're going to kick it off with this phone. For connectivity, the Inspire 4G has mobile hotspots for up to five devices. It has Bluetooth 2.1, GPS, DLNA for streaming wirelessly to various devices, and the phone can also be tethered to a PC for internet. The Inspire 4G has a 4.3 inch WVGA 800 by 480 pixel resolution capacitive touchscreen and uh, that's one of the higher end screens on the market. To go hand in hand with the prodigious screen, HTC also gave the Inspire 4G Dolby Mobile and SRS Wow surround sound. So sound playback on this phone, especially over headphones, was great. For memory, the HTC Inspire 4G has four gigabytes of built-in storage, and it comes preloaded with an eight gigabyte micro SD card in a slot that can hold up to 32 gigabytes. Along with Wi-Fi, the HTC Inspire 4G is capable of tapping into AT&T's HSPA Plus speeds. And we will tell you that this phone's 4G speeds actually rivaled certain wireless network connections. Although the HTC Inspire 4G is rather plain up front in the back, HTC really shines through with its innovations. Rather than have one solid back panel to remove, we have individual panels. One housing the micro SD card and SIM card, and the other housing the battery. In the back you'll also notice the lens for an 8 megapixel camera with dual LED flash embedded next door. And yes, this phone is capable of 720p HD video recording. As you can see, the Inspire 4G is one of the hottest things to be cranked out of Silicon Valley in this day and age. Are you inspired yet? Well, let's jump inside the phone for more inspiration. Check out the beautiful sense scenery. And as you can see, the rain animations there for the weather. And we can just see how smooth and sleek this UI is. It's just beautiful, coupled with Android 2.2. The first thing we're going to show you is personalize. Personalize is where we have our skins, wallpapers, and scenes. Let's go to scenes first. Scenes are more like profiles, like the Sprint IDs, but highly more refined. As you can see, we have social, work, travel. So these are different profiles that you can store your own personal settings in and alternate between. Now let's go to skins here and as you can see we're using the Music Lover skin. Um, there are various different skins that you can download. They're just kind of themes. Another thing we like stylistically was the retro switch that we have here. And look how smooth it is just sliding back and forth to our different options here in our contact hub. Look at that, lagless playing from within the browser. Oh, that's awesome. Now we're gonna show you the revamped text box that we really like here. As you can see, we could click anywhere and we get this magnified box here. Once we settle on a word, we can use the constraints here to uh, highlight as much as we want. And uh, it's just a really easy, awesome way to uh, highlight text and uh, distribute it. Now this phone offers a lot of widgets. Here we have news. Here's all our InfoSync news up to date. And um, there are seven home screens. So we have the classic HTC Sense Leap action there. Um, and we can also go to Friendstream. Friendstream pretty much takes all of our accounts, combines them together. Here we have the Android market, and this phone plays very nicely with 3D applications. And we're going to show you one of those right now. It's extremely smooth graphics on this phone, too. And here's another example of the accelerometer in action with this 3D motion game. Well, let's take a gander at the gallery here. As you can see, there are all of our albums. And uh, we can also check on our Facebook and Flickr buddies. 
as well as other connected media here. Um, so we could stream wirelessly and uh, that's a really versatile thing to have. Now the cool thing is that we could share but we could also add effects here. We could edit, crop, resize, um, rotate right or left. So uh, that's something that we haven't seen yet. Now what's really cool about the YouTube widget is that YouTube looks more like the website. So here we have our video embedded, our, all of our comments, different tabs, related videos, and uh, comments. So, and then we turn it sideways, we have the full screen action, we have HQ kicking right now. So YouTube on this phone is just awesome. Now let's talk about call quality and battery life. Call quality on this phone was kind of mediocre. We noticed a blanketing white noise in nearly all of our calls. However, the phone was devoid of any major calling mishaps like uh, echoing or uh, major static. Now regarding battery life, you have to keep in mind that this phone goes hyperactive with uh, background applications. So uh, you're going to have to jump into the Manage Applications Hub and that lets you force stop applications and uh, monitor what's going on with your phone. It's most likely going to need a charge once a day at least. Now how about that 8 megapixel camera? This phone offers autofocus and touch focus. It has a dual LED flash that couples as a video light. The touch focus, autofocus, and LED video light can be toggled while recording video on this phone, and that's a big thing. Not many phones do that next to the iPhone 4. Now it's time for the main event, image quality. In bright light, the HTC Inspire 4G gave us one of the best performances we've seen on a phone to date. Uh, color and detail was fantastic in video and stills. However, sound pickup on this phone is not that great. It's kind of mediocre. This phone's Achilles heel when it comes to image quality is low light. Not only did we see droves of red and green noise, but the phone has a major problem with its auto white balance when using the flash. Everything looks yellow. When we tried to toggle in other white balance modes, it either looked a little too bluish or a little too greenish. So um, just check it out in the review, it's, it's pretty bad. So unfortunately here, we can't eat our cake too. And now it's time for our InfoSync diagnosis with the HTC Inspire 4G. We were truly inspired. $100 for a phone like this is just plain silly awesome. The phone's HTC Sense UI is one of the best on the market. It has Android 2.2 with flash support, the giant 4.3 inch screen, 8 megapixel camera that's actually decent in bright light. And this is the first HTC phone to take advantage of HTC Sense cloud service. Let's not forget about those lightning quick HSPA Plus speeds as well. It's officially safe to say that AT&T is no longer the iPhone network. Work. AT&T has an arsenal of warriors coming up this year in 2011 and the HTC Inspire 4G is the first one. For the full review go to www.infosyncworld.com. Until next time, I'm Mike Perlman.